There are only two causes to get still nine thrust. One of them is This is a kitchen over here. Your shop is really attractive. We can find the Japanese culture at the entrance and see sharpening the blade and the kitchen is here. It seems to be easy to work with. Yes, it does. Have you had workshop here? Yes, I have. And food event too. We sometimes invite the chef and learn how to cook with the students. This is a place to eat meal with learning and also it's a place where the young chefs can take on the challenges. In order to open the restaurant, they have to think about various things, such as attracting the customers, selecting the ingredients, and setting prices. They can connect to experience and self-confidence by actual trial. This is a trial kitchen before starting their own business. That's a good idea. So, you already prepared a knife here. You are going to teach me how to maintain the knives, right? Could you tell me that, please? Sure, perhaps you think steel knives are hard to deal with. Actually, not really. There are only two causes to get steel knives thrust. One of them is... The stain? Yes, you are correct. The stain from ingredients. How about one more thing? Well, a uh, lack of love? That's a good point, but it's not. I have no idea. What's that? Answer is moisture. There are only two causes for lasting. It's a good way to wipe out the stain and moisture with a towel every time you use the knife. Have you seen that chef wipes the knife during the cooking before? That is the reason. And you don't need any technique, just wipe it off. It's easy, isn't it? Anyone can do that. But the stain cannot be removed just by wiping. When you wash the dishes after dinner, I recommend to polish the knife with the polishing compound to remove the stain. Putting the knife on the cutting board just scrub the surface of the knife with the compound. That's it. But this soap doesn't work well. It works to remove the fat of the knife when cutting the meat and the fried chicken. But it doesn't work for the stains from the vegetables. So using the polishing the compound, polishing the blade makes the surface scraped little by little. It's also good for hygiene. Finally, wash it off with water and wipe off the water droplets. Then you are done. That's it? Yes, that's it. It would be better to use this kind of item called kitchen eraser. Kitchen eraser? Yes. This is made by the solidifying the compound. It's like an eraser, isn't it? It's a little elastic. It's really easy to use it. Just move back and forth on the blade. A little elastic could be erased easily with this eraser. There is no blade that can keep its sharpness forever. You will have watched on the shopping channel, I think. Edge will be worn out and be getting dull. The resistance occurs when cutting ingredients. So, if the edge is sharpened, thickness of the blade will be thin. So, the resistance of the cutting edge is reduced and it cuts well. You don't have to sharpen the blade every day. You just make the habit to wipe off the stain not to be rusty. Is it better to use Weston to sharpen knife once every few months? Yes, it's better. If it's hard to sharpen knife by myself, can you help me to do that? Of course, I'd be happy to help you. Thank you for your watching. Click here for the next recommended video. Please subscribe our channel.